Webinar 31, I had a question coming out of section 7.2, number 17, and here we have a three by three system of three equations, three unknowns, and we need to solve. Now, the one thing that I noticed that's at least pretty unique to this problem that stands out is I already have an equation with two variables. And really, in any goal of a three by three, right, you start with your three by three and you want to simplify it to a two by two. Well, I already have one equation with two variables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at these two equations and I'm going to eliminate the x variable. And when I eliminate x from those two equations, that's going to actually simplify my um, equation down to, uh, or simplify my system down to a two by two. Now, if I look at the coefficients in front of the x, on the upside they're on, they have opposite signs, one's positive and one's negative. But I'm going to go ahead and multiply this top equation by five and this bottom equation by two. And I know right there it looks a little junked up, but that's literally what I'm doing down at this level. So I'm going to distribute the five to everything in that equation. I'm going to distribute the two to everything in that equation. And then by design, you can see that the x's are going to eliminate. And if I look at the equation that I have left here, I've got an equation with y and z in it. So between the equation they gave me and the equation that we just derived, here's our new system. There's our two by two. And at that point, it's your call in terms of what letter would you like to eliminate. If I'm looking at them, they both they all have positive numbers, so none, none of them are opposite in sign. So I'm going to opt to eliminate the y's only because they have smaller numbers. So if I look at the coefficients, we've got a 3 and a 2. They're both positive, so I've got to make one of them negative. So I'll multiply this one by negative 2 and this one by positive 3. And that's what you see me doing here. And again, i got to distribute to every term, right? And then by design, you see that the y variables eliminate. I get negative 7z equaling negative 7, which is nice because then z is a nice whole number, right? Z does, these, these answers don't have to be whole numbers, but it's already a pain <laughs> to do these problems, so it's nice when you do get whole numbers for answers. And now it's a matter of back subbing. So I'm going to take that z value of 1, and I can sub it into this equation or this equation to solve for y. You can see in my work I opted for that first equation. And so I'm subbing in right here, if you see this getting a little darker on the z letter, I'm subbing in z equaling 1, and I solve for y, and then I get y equaling negative 6. And then I'm going to take the z equaling 1, and the y being negative 6, and then I can sub it back in to any of these equations. I, and when I say any, any excuse me, I'm going to scroll up, I, I could sub it into this one or this one. It doesn't matter. Dealer's choice. I opted for the first one. No, no, JK, which one did I actually opt for? Let's see. It looks like, no, the first one. I just need to stick with it. Okay, so there we go. And then when I um, sub in my X and my, um, excuse me, my Y and my Z value, I get X equaling 4. And there's my ordered triple. And I can't recommend enough, check your answers. And when I say check your answers, what I'm saying there is that if this is X, Y, and Z, plug those four numbers, 4, negative 6, and 1, back into your original equations and see if equality holds. If it does, you know you've got the right answer. And if, if it doesn't, then you made a little typo somewhere. All right? Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.